Hi there, my name is Wally Williams, pastor at Good Shepherd United Methodist Church, and thank you for joining me as we look at the lessons of Lent uh, during this time. And we have been focusing on the final words that uh, Jesus shared from the cross by looking at Adam Hamilton's book, The Final Words from Jesus uh, from the Cross. And we have looked thus far, I've got them listed here, we have looked at uh, his opening words, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do as the Romans were crucifying him and the crowds were jeering against him. Uh, then he said, today you will be with me in paradise. And he was talking to a thief next to him, um, either to his left or right, I'm not sure, obviously, but uh, he was speaking with him. Uh, today you'll be with me in paradise. And then we moved on to behold your son, behold your mother. He was talking to John and to Mary. And he said, behold your son, behold your mother. And uh, we learned from that. And then he went. Then we went to um, his fourth word, and and that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And why is a question that all of us ask. And then he said, I thirst. And this issued and 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 caused us to think of the living water concept. And then lastly, we come to it is finished. It is finished. Into thy hands I commend my spirit. And um, so we're going to be looking at those two concepts, but first let's look at it is finished. When Jesus said it is finished, what was he really saying? You know, we, we kind of think of it like a boxing match. Whenever uh, one individual uh, punches the other individual and it knocks him out and he's down for the count, and the, and the referee goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And he says, you're out. We think that's what it means, it is finished. But Adam Hamilton says that it's best to understand that phrase as, as it has been accomplished. The way to grace has now been accomplished. The way to forgiveness has now been accomplished. The way to salvation has been accomplished. The way to sanctification, to joy, to peace has been accomplished. And you can just go on and on. That has been accomplished because of the words and works of Jesus the Christ. You know, it is interesting. The it is finished concept uh, in, in, the, in the Gospels, it tells us that when Jesus said that the curtain temple, or, or excuse me, the veil or the, the curtain tore from top to bottom, only a high priest could go behind the curtain to the Ark of the Covenant. Only a high priest could, but, the, but when Jesus died, it tore from top to bottom. And it just simply revealed God. Jesus Christ's death on the cross revealed God to each of us. And so we don't need a high priest anymore. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. It's through me that you can see God and be with God. You know, then we move to into thy hands I commend my spirit. I commit my spirit. Let me just read just the end of Psalms 31. You are indeed my rock and my fortress for your name's sake. Lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that is hidden from me for you are my refuge. Into your hand I commend my spirit. You see, when Jesus was hanging on the cross, Scripture was on his mind. And when we go through a dark valley, when we go through a, a, a dark place, we need to remember some Scripture and hide it in our hearts. And so I encourage you to, to memorize some Scripture. You know that, that phrase, into your hands I commend my spirit? That is a prayer. He began with a prayer, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And he ended with a prayer, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And so that just tells each of us that prayer is so important, so vital, so key. It gives us hope. But it also says, God use me. You know, I would like to close out this concept of lessons of Lent 
by referring to a, a picture that I received. And this picture is the Wesleyan Covenant Prayer from John Wesley. Let me just read it to you. And this, this simply says, God use me. And that's what Jesus was saying on the cross. Into your hands I commit my spirit. It says, I am no longer my own, but thine. Put me to what thou wilt. Rank me with whom thou wilt. Put me to doing, put me to suffering. Let me be employed for thee or laid aside for thee. Exalted for thee or brought low for thee. Let me be full, let me be empty. Let me have all things. Let me have nothing. I freely and heartily yield all things to thy pleasure and disposal. And now, O glorious and blessed God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, thou art mine, and I am thine. So be it. In the covenant which I have made on earth, let it be ratified in heaven. Amen. I want to thank you for joining me as we have walked through the lessons of Lent, as we have looked at the last words of Jesus. And I pray that whenever you hear them once again, it will remind you of many spiritual lessons that we can learn this day. I hope that God will bless your family and may God bless you richly. Mm -hmm.